Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United, I'm of course George, welcome along to the channel everybody and what a result for Leeds United yesterday wasn't it, nobody saw this one coming, absolute scenes at Ellen Road in the 3-0 win against Chelsea, what a result for Leeds this was, played excellent didn't the Leeds, just showed what they could do, you know a lot of the you know the press was there the just the the willingness the determination to get the ball back quickly we just went from them from the first minute and Chelsea just didn't know what to do couldn't combat it at all they looked lethargic they looked you know just shell shocked didn't they really you couldn't quite Envision Leeds United coming at them like he did. Obviously, Jesse Marsh deserves massive, massive praise for this one. And, you know, let's get into the game. I thought Chelsea really did, as much as I've said, they looked lethargic. They had the better of the opening kind of 10 minutes. Raheem Sterling uh, almost capitalised on some really lax defending from uh, down our right-hand side. He cut in, should really score. Um... I thought he was going to do. I think it similar to a goal. I think he scored against us for Man City um, in that twenty twenty one season. I think, but I thought he was going to score. He should have scored. Um, well, he did score. Sorry, later on, but he was offside. Mason Mount has that opportunity. It's a great save from Melee, isn't it? And and maybe Loftus Cheek could have had had one as well. Um, but Melee was brilliant, wasn't he? I mean. Made a great save in the second half from Reese James as well, where it almost nicked in into the corner. The whole defence, as the game grew on, you know, played well, I felt. But let's get to the goals. And I mean, 30 odd minutes in, we've, we've been all right, but we've not really penetrated at all. And it comes from a mistake, doesn't it? I mean, Thomas Tuchel keeps saying it was an own goal, doesn't he? But clearly, obviously, Aronson nicks it off Mendy and puts it in the net. But it's it's made from Harrison. This he, he, relentless he was all day long, running, closing down. He was brilliant. He was absolutely fantastic. It was Aronson yesterday, and he deserved that goal. You know, he made that goal. He it wouldn't have happened if he hadn't sprinted to Mendy and putting him put him under pressure there. He was brilliant all day long, and I'll be covering him. In a little bit more detail in my video, all American Art Way, of course, where I look at Aronson and Adams. Both were brilliant in this in this win, by the way, weren't they, of course? And let me know how impressed you've been with, with the two of them in the comments below. But then we get to, you think, all right, 1-0 up, let's see how we go. But it gets better five minutes later as Leeds United, the roof comes off Ellen Road. Let me know how wild you went. And were you in the stadium uh, for this game, it, the roof came off. Uh, Rodrigo nods in. Nothing Mendy can do about this one. Is a, a whipped, a deliciously whipped cross in from Jack Harrison. Met by Rodrigo and he is the top scorer in the Premier League. Currently got four goals in three games, of course. And delighted, absolutely delighted when he scored that visibly. Obviously, there he is. Big smile on his face and we are 2-0 up. In the 37th minute or 39th minute, is it? Yeah, a few minutes before half time, we're tuning up, but shades of Southampton creep in. But then midway through the second half, we kill the game off. James is released down the left hand side, whips the ball in. Rodrigo sort of miscontrols it a little bit. And there is Harrison to whip or stab the ball in, really. No questions asked. He'll ask the question if he's offside after the ball's in the net. He's not offside. Again, it's Thiago Silva on that uh, right-hand side that's playing him onside who looked lethargic all day long. And the whole Chelsea defence did, didn't they? And that man, Kula Bali, just couldn't live with Lee Janai, could he? Uh, silly first, yellow card, dragged back Aronson and then... Obviously, in the last few minutes, Gellhart comes on. He's running at him. Just ridiculous. And you could tell by his face, he was he was done with Kula Bali yesterday at that point. Just couldn't. He just couldn't live with, with the 
pure pressure that was being put on him by Leeds United. Um, and the whole Chelsea team just looked, yeah, gone of ideas. But Leeds were pressing them, pressing them, pressing them. It was Jesse Marsh's football at its very best. And I know a lot of people now, I mean, they should have been turned around to Jesse Marsh already. But now I think they completely are a lot of fans. That has won a lot of fans over. Like I said, they should have been already on his side. But, you know, I felt in the middle, obviously Tyler Adams was brilliant. Just pressing pressure again. Pressure, it's that word pressure. You know, pressure and pressing. He was all over them. You know, Rocker as well did the nice little things well. I think probably of all the players on the pitch, I think Mark Rocker would get the least amount of plaudits. But together as a pair, you can really see their partnership really blossoming into something quite fruitful for Leeds United. Uh, obviously, there's Rodrigo, uh, like I said, another goal. He played very well, got himself an assist, but... You know, I think it was a little bit of miscontrol, if he's honest, about that one. And, and Harrison obviously was first to react. But Rodrigo has really hit the ground running, played a massive part in this win yesterday. Um, like I said, Christensen uh, grew into the match. Had a tricky, um, tricky sort of first half. I felt if Chelsea were going to get any joy, and they were getting joy down that side with Raheem Sterling on Christensen, um, but he grew into the game and I'm sure it'll grow into the season. But now I've mentioned a few players here, but my man of the match is that man, Jack Harrison. I think Sky Sports gave it to, to, to Jack as well, didn't they? But there's a few. I mean, there's a few that's up for debate for a few fans. I know Tyler Adams won the official man of the match on the website, I believe. Uh, but Jack, for me, was all over the place and, and caused Chelsea problems all day long. There's some stats on the screen there to, to sort of the numbers from his game. Obviously got his goal, got his assist, lovely free kick for Rodrigo and was just a menace to Chelsea all day long. Obviously Newcastle, we hear today, have had a second bid for Harrison rejected. That was believed to be 20 million. Let me know in the comments. For me, obviously, like many people, Jack Harrison is just a no sell just don't sell him the way he start the season um i'm not sure you know i think as it gets closer and closer to deadline day we might see our resolve tested uh in terms of a a, a big bid coming in for harrison but let's wait and see he was absolutely uh you know mesmerizing wasn't he on on sunday afternoon at ellen road there we see of course Robin Cock and Aronson. Cock um, was another rock at the back, I felt. Um, and Juventus next to him as well. Both of them played the part in this win. Obviously, it's a first clean sheet of the season. It's a first clean sheet at Ellen Road for Leeds United. Or I think possibly um, of you know, any game um, since November last year where we beat Crystal Palace. Uh, and shut them out, a 1-0 win. Uh, obviously, Rafina scored the late penalty. That's the last time Leeds United um, had a clean sheet at Ellen Road, I think. It might be in all competitions, but yeah, look, it was fantastic. Let me know if you were in the stadium yesterday and what the atmosphere was like, because it looked and it sounded absolutely electric. The boys responded and came up with what is a real famous result, really. A first win against Chelsea since 2002, I think. Um, and yeah, what a what a win. It's been a great start of the season so far. Brighton are up next to have had a similar start, so it's going to be a difficult game. We have yet to win at the Amex, but we've got to enjoy this win. And we're sitting in third position. I felt like Jesse Marsh deserves a lot of credit. There was a lot of good game management that went into this game. Uh, whereas last week at Southampton, it was lacking a little bit. But all round, very, very impressive. Um, Harrison, Aronson, Rodrigo uh, and Adams are my pick of the players that played well. Let me know in the comments yours. But thank you very much for what, for watching. 
marching on together. I'll see you on the next one.